everyone, my name is Rebecca Grace from Rebecca Grace Designs, and I am the creator of the Encyclopedia of Code, which provides hundreds of copy and paste code snippets for Squarespace designers to use on their clients' websites. Today we are going to be looking at how to recreate the image blocks that were available in the Classic Editor in the new Squarespace Fluid Engine Editor in 7.1. So here is a 7.0 site just to show you what they looked like in the classic editor. So this is what they would have looked like in 7.0 or the original 7.1 classic editor. So this is an example of an inline image block. You had the options of adding the text just below the image on this overlay, or you could have the overlay show on hover. You had the option of a poster image block. This was a card image block an overlap image block, a collage image block, and a stacked image block. And so we're going to go through and show you how to recreate each of these styles in the new Fluid Engine. So here I have a Squarespace 7.1 site. I'm going to edit the page and add a blank section. And you can see that I'm using Fluid Engine because it gives me the add block option up here and that I can add and remove rows dragging like this. If you see this, then you are using Fluid Engine. The first option was an inline image block. And this was a, where you could place a caption below or over top an image. So let's add an image block in and add an image. And then we can drag it to size. If you see that you have some white space on the ends, you can click the pencil icon and under design, you can select to fill. Under here, you can also have it round its corners or you can choose for it to have a shape. Now the inline image block um, had the option of adding a caption below. So there isn't captions on these blocks. What you need to do is just add a text block beneath Make sure you drag it to be the same width of the image block, and then you can write your caption in here. I would drag this box to be um, as small as you can. And then there you have it. You have a caption underneath the image. One of the other inline image block options was to have the caption um, over top or overlay the image. So to do that, you're just going to drag the box on top. You can make it be as wide as you would like. Once you've dragged blocks on top of each other, you'll see these options come up and that allows you to place um, the blocks either behind or in front. So choose which ones are in front and on top. So make sure that your text block is on top. And then under the pencil icon, you can select to turn on a background. And from here, you can choose the padding. Again, under this text option, you can then align um, the text to the top, the center, or the bottom. And I now have my text overlaying the image. To change this background color, that is done inside of Design, Site Styles, Colors. You'll see I'm using the lightest one theme, so we're going to click to edit that theme. And if you click on this background, you should see the background color come up. Here you can then choose the color of this block um, by choosing one from your palette or a custom color, and then you can make it slightly transparent by dragging this slider. The final inline image block option was to have this overlay on hover. To do that, you're going to need to add some custom CSS. Essentially, what we need to do is hide the text block um, initially and then have it show when I hover over top of the image. Now, this can be a little bit tricky because in order to apply that CSS, we need them to be siblings or child elements of each other. So what you're going to do is hover over top of your text block, right click and select inspect. And then you need to find the fluid engine blocks that are 
siblings of each other. So what that means is that they're beside each other in line. It doesn't look like one is inside of the other. So it will look like this. So this FE block class, I'm going to grab because that's the class of my text block. So we put a period because it's a class. And I just need this one. And I'm going to put display none. And you should see it disappear. So I want it initially to hide. But when I hover over top of this one, so we're going to get the FE block ID of my image. And we're going to say hover. So when I hover over top of this block, I want this block ID, which is a sibling We're going to put a sibling selector, which is kind of their, that swirly um, dash, the block ID of the text block. We want it to display block. And you should see it now pop up on hover. I will place this code beneath this video on my blog so you can copy and paste it and then exchange out your FE block IDs, um, but they do need to be your the FE dash block. Um, I kind of tend to call them block IDs because that's how we're used to calling them, but this is technically a class. So you're going to do a period and the FE block uh, class. Okay, and you're looking for, again for the ones that are beside each other like this. One will be on your image and one will be on your text block. And that is how you get an inline image block with a caption overlay on hover. The next type of image block is a poster image block, which has the text over top of an image. So same as what we did here, um, you're just going to have a text block overlay the image. You can set it to be a heading if you like. Then you can add a button. You can turn off the background. You don't have to have the background here, um, but just be careful of what it looks like on mobile okay, because it most likely will stack it all on mobile and I have a white background and white text. So if I didn't have this background here on my text, then it's not gonna show up properly on mobile. So I flip over to mobile, you'll see here, if I didn't have this background, I'm not gonna be able to see the text. So that will vary greatly depending on how you have this set up, but you'll want to just double check and make sure it's all good on mobile as well. We also then have the image card block, which was just the text and button beside the image. We can move this over here. And I'm gonna turn off the background and you have your image card. To have an overlap image block, a lot of times just the heading overlapped the block. So what I would do is have two different text blocks. So have your description in one text block and then add another text block that had your heading. And I would give this one a background. And you're gonna want to go to site styles in order to change this to be whatever color you like. I'm going to have it be a small padding and I'm going to align it in the center. And again, you can have this 
overlap. Then have your description underneath. And I might go to design site styles, colors, and change the background color here to white. And then change the text color to black. And there you have your overlay or overlap image block. Another one is your collage image block. So this is going to be similar to how we did the poster image block. What I'm going to do is have all of the text inside of one text block. And I'm going to align this text box to the top and give it a background with a lot of padding. And then I can put the button inside of this text block. And then I can choose to move this to overlap the block, just like a collage image block would be wrapped. Then again, I can change the color of this by going to design site styles, going to my colors lightest one and changing this to be whatever color I would like. Let's just try this beige color. And you might have to play around with how this is all positioned so that it makes sense on multiple screen sizes. So you notice that it was overlapping there, which means I need a bit more space. I'm going to try moving the padding down a little bit, but making the card bigger. Set the padding to have left and right just a little bit more so it lines up with my button. And let's see what that looks like. That's better. And then again, I would just check mobile real quick to make sure that that looks good and it's just stacking nicely. Um, and so I would probably leave it like that. And the last is your stacked image block, which is just the image on top with all the information underneath. So I can just move this underneath like this. Um, and I like to make it be the same width as the image block. Um, and I would probably remove the background on here. And there you have your stacked image block. And there you have it. That is how you recreate all the image blocks that were available in 7.1 in the classic editor, as well as 7.0 in the new fluid engine editor in 7.1.